Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This one is a part 3 for chapter 1. We proceed with the linear polymer. Okay, now we look at the example of the linear polymer is polyethylene. So, the linear polymer is the simplest polymer. It is, uh, it is a simply a chain in which all of the carbon carbon bond exists in a single straight line. So, and its example, another example are um, Teflon, which is made from a tetrafluoroethylene. Okay, so linear polymer consists of primary bond, which is strong covalent bond in the chain, and secondary bond, which is the weak van der Waal forces between the chain. And as we can see in the structure, uh, the polyethylene consists of uh, covalent bonding and uh, van der Waals forces. So the, the bond that holds the polymer chain is uh, uh, covalent bond. And between the chain, we have a van der Waals bonding. So for the branch polymer, for example, uh, linear density polyethylene. As I mentioned earlier, the branch polymer are defined as a structure that having a secondary polymer chain linked to a primary backbone, resulting in a variety of polymer architecture such as um, star, it has a comb shaped polymer and so on. So branch polymer, it has side chain or branch growing up from the main chain as uh, shown in the figure here. So we can see that they have a CH2 CH2, CH2 and the CH3. So this one is considered as a branch structure. And the branch actually result from the side reaction during the polymerization. And the monomers with two or more end group are likely to support branching. Okay. So for a polymer to classify as branch polymer, the side chain or the branch should comprise of a minimum of one complete monomer unit. So one of the most commonly example is low density polyethylene and the uh, application of LDPE as we all know um, are plastic bags, containers, we have um, textile, electrical insulation and packaging material. So branch polymer it displays a uh, lower density as a consequence of reduced packing efficiency of the branch uh, chain and the length of the side chains of branch differentiates between long or short branch polymer. For a long branch, it has a comb like structure, random or a star shaped structure. While the branch may be in turn be branch, however, they do not connect to another polymer chain. Soft polymer or cross link polymer, as we can see in the diagram here, the blue, the blue uh, color is the um, the cross link after the vulcanization. Okay, this one is the vulcanization um, of the rubber with sulfur. Okay, S is the sulfur. The schematic presentation of two polymer chain which are blue and green crosslink after the vulcanization of natural rubber with the sulfur. In polymer, it uses uh, the term crosslink means it is refers to the use of crosslink to promote a change in the polymer physical properties. And it is referred to the use of a um, uh, panama. Although the term is used to refer to the linking of polymer chain, the extent of cross-linking and specificities of the cross-link agents vary greatly. Summary: the cross-link polymer it forms a long chain, either branch or linear, that can form covalent bond between the polymer molecule. And because the cross-link polymer it forms the covalent bonds that are much stronger than the intermolecular forces that attract other polymer chain, the result is a stronger and more stable material and basically crosslink polymer are insoluble in all solvent because the polymer chain are tied together by strong covalent bond and the chemical covalent crosslink are stable mechanically and thermally so once formed 
are difficult to, to break. So crosslink are the characteristic property of thermoset plastic material, especially in the case of commercially used plastic. Once a substance is crosslink, the product is very hard or impossible to recycle. For polymer that are tri-functional <coughs> instead of a bifunctional uh, monomer, we call it as a network polymer. For example, uh, epoxy, <coughs> phenol, formaldehyde polymer. Okay, so there are three points on the mer that can react. That this leads to three-dimensional connectivity of the polymer that bond. So highly crosslink polymer can also be classified as a network polymer. Okay, we proceed with one by one for the linear polymer. Okay, linear polymer consists of a linear chain without chain extending branches. The main example is high density polyethylene. And the type of polymerization are polyaddition or polycondensation. Crystalline and amorphous can be a linear polymer. And it can be remelted many times and have a degree of a solubility. Means that it can be um, soluble in any solvent. For branch polymer, it is a polymer having extension of the polymer backbone. An example are linear density polyethylene. The type of polymerization are by polyaddition with crosslinking and also by polycondensation. For network polymer or crosslink, it is a covalent bond between two or more linear polymer, which is chain or crosslink. Now we proceed with the application and the physical properties. First, rubber. Okay. Rubber or uh, polyisoprene, it has a long range elasticity. So we call it as a uh, elastoma. Okay. On consideration of mechanical strength, they are rather weak, dimensionally unstable, and undergo high elongation even on application of low stress. So uh, rubber become useful if cross-linked to the desired extent, which is vulcanization process. Example are natural rubber, synthetic rubber. Okay, plastic. Usually much stronger than rubber. Some of them are hard, rigid, stiff and dimensional stable while other, others may be soft and flexible. For example, PE, PP and so on. Next is fiber, the strongest among other. So either plants or animal origin. It is high mechanical strength also. Possess useful properties such as thermal insulation, softness, and flexible. Example of fiber are cotton, cellulose, wool, silk, synthetic polyamide, polyester fiber, and acrylic fiber, and etc. So basically, fiber are um, added okay, to the polymer to increase some properties or certain properties that want, they want to achieve. And sometimes fiber are added into the um, polymer, such as polyethylene, polypropylene, okay, to reduce the cost. Okay, now we proceed with the tacticity. So what is tacticity? Tacticity is the configuration of monomeric units in a polymer molecule. So, um, in classification by chain configuration and confirmation. So, for configuration is defined by the polymerization method. So, a chain in configuration requires the rupture of covalent bond, either isotactic, syndactic, or atactic. In terms of conformation, it is defined by its sequence of bond and torsion angle. The chain in shape of a given molecule due to the torsion about single sigma bond. So now we look at the tacticity. We have uh, a tactic, syndactic, and isotactic. As we all know, uh, a tactic is a uh, contain 
side group on random, which is sides of the backbone. So, a tactic um, asymmetric carbon has statistical variation of configuration. For syndotactic, side group on alternating sides of the back, back, backbone. So, uh, we have asymmetric carbon have alternate configuration. Polynomial will stay in a planar zigzag conformation for a syndotactic. For isotactic, all asymmetric carbons have same configuration, means that the side group are on the same side of the backbone. And polymer forms a helix to minimize the substituent interaction. And the good properties is a isotactic polymer uh, in terms of the mechanical properties. Amorphous regions of a polymer are made up of a randomly core and entangled chain. So, amorphous polymer are softer, have lower melting point, and are penetrated more by solvent than their crystalline counterpart. So, amorphous polymer easily soluble in the um, the solvent. For semi-crystalline polymer, it has both crystalline and the amorphous region. Okay, this one is the amorphous region. And semi-crystalline is a desirable property for most plastic because they combine the strength of crystalline polymer with the flexibility of amorphous. So the semi-crystalline polymer can be tough with an ability to bend without breaking. So the tough properties come from the uh, crystalline and the uh, um, flexibility is the properties come from the amorphous. Alright, in terms of the bond, we have uh, primary, secondary, um, uh, primary and secondary bond. So the primary bond is the covalent bond that connects the atom of the main chain. While for the secondary bond, is non-covalent bond that holds one polymer chain to another including hydrogen bond and other dipole dipole. Okay.
we seem 